Hey guys, welcome back to another video here with the Batista Vlogs and today we are showing you guys everything that we've got for our children for Christmas. So if you're new to this channel guys, hi I am Stephanie and this is Sean, I call myself Daddy B and this is Mummy B. Lovely to meet you guys. We have four children guys, we have one daughter who has just turned 12 and we have three boys who are aged 10, 4 and six. And I know we don't look old enough to have four children guys, <laughs> but we do have four children. And today we are doing a, basically what we bought our children for Christmas. So here in the United Kingdom, um, most people really enjoy Christmas and everybody ce celebrates it in different ways. Around the world people celebrate it differently. I think Christmas means ev like, di different things to different people. That yes. is the best way of putting it. Yeah. Um, for us as a family, how do we celebrate Christmas and basically what's the big thing about it for us? I think we go off celebrating Christmas as each year comes. Uh, I think this year we haven't bought the children that much because we buy them throughout the year. So I know that a lot of people don't buy their children throughout the year and then they just get loads of stuff on Christmas Day. Yeah. But we tend to just buy the kids when they need it like for buy instance the year. they had bikes just in october yeah november <laughs> um most people don't be buy them for christmas but because the children were wanting to learn how to cycle especially the little ones we decided to buy bikes then yeah. um this year we've decided to put a bit more emphasis on quality over quantity because yeah. last year i felt like we wasted a lot of money by buying too many presents that they didn't really need so yeah. we kind of bought too much so this year we've tended to buy some expensive things that we are going to see throughout the year that's probably going to last them a couple of years. So we have got a few things that may break within the year but we didn't buy too much of that. Yeah. And I know most people are going to say, oh well done, you've just spoiled it for your children for what they've got for Christmas. Well guess what guys, the children aren't allowed to watch this video. In fact they aren't allowed to watch our channel until <laughs> after Christmas day because we've been showing you guys stocking fillers. And We've got so much more to show you guys as well. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons we have kept this video until like this. nearly it's a week, guys. Can you believe Christmas is one week today? So we kept this video to the last part of Christmas, so they don't yeah. have to wait very long to see them. In so anyways. if you're not subscribed, subscribe because Christmas is going to be pretty cool, guys, and we'll get to see most of these presents opened up that you already see here, and with a few extra additional presents as well. Yes. So, with no further delay, let's get on the way. Let's tell the guys what we got our children for Christmas. So, we'll start with Caleb, the youngest. Why not? So, Caleb is four, and at the moment, guys, he loves anything to do with cars. We got him <laughs> this, this Disney car set, which is the full collection of the Disney cars. And he absolutely loves cars. And when we seen this, we thought, yay, gotta get this. And this was £50. But we got it for how much? We actually got it on sale in the Disney store for £30, guys, which I think is a really, really good idea. Really good buy, yeah. Uh, good buy, yeah. And this is from Cars 3. So it's not from Cars 1, it's actually from the latest Cars. So you're going to have all the characters and everything. So yeah. I'm sure he's going to be very happy with that. So that's the first thing, guys. Then we bought him a mega gigantic garage set. It is. Flipping huge guys, this is the back, I'll just show you guys what it looks like when it's popped up and that is it there. Now, I'm going to ask you guys a question, drop a comment down below, pause the video now. How much do you think this garage costed? And I will surprise you in just one moment. Drop a comment right now, tell me how much you guys think this was. Yeah. So it has 10 cars included and also the height of that is 47 centimetres so that's nearly 50 Pretty centimetres big. high. Yeah. yeah and the price of it guys was £20 from Tesco. Yeah. So it's, it's exclusively for Tesco and it was £20 so I mean value for money you've got to buy some things that probably wouldn't last throughout the year but they're going to have a lot of fun with in any ways. As of these cars I can say they're going to last a long time because from Disney, the quality, you can tell the quality, heavy metal, tire, the wheels don't come off. With these 10 cars here, I guarantee you, I used to play cars when I was a kid, the wheels will come off these within a, you know, a year or two. Yeah. But the garage, it might still be here next year, but for £20, you can't really complain. And 
also, um, when we were talking about buying more expensive things, we bought more expensive things for the older children because yeah. they're getting to an age now where they don't like the toys like that um, or dolls or figures, things like that. So it's more on the expensive side. For they're their they're age. grown up, they're grown up now. Now they want more to do with technology, yeah. more to do with electronics, fashion, clothes, stuff like that. Yeah, and, they're um, that age, aren't they? No? Yeah, what, why they, yeah. it's not that they want the latest, but they just want what other children have got who are their age and not, not like said, you said, dolls and, you know, toy cars. But as for Caleb and Logan, they're, they're still, still enjoying that. that. We're enjoying them where, they, where they're that age as well because it's lovely when they're at that age. Is this Disney Cars set again, but this is also... It's like the, a, what's it like? Basically, this? you slam down on this. I'll show you guys a little bit closer in. So I used to love these sort of things when I was a kid. You slam down on this and it just projects the car up over here and then you got to try and get them up there, up the ramp and into the little car parking space. Then and obviously you release the garage, it brings them down again and it starts all over again. But the cars are teeny, like they're pretty small. That is for Caleb, as you guys know, he loves cars. So this was £40 guys. That's three of Kayla's main presents there. There is a couple that are arriving in post. Yeah. Just things um We've got like quite games. a stack of few things coming in the post considering just for Kayla but you said the games and stuff. Yeah. But we've also got stuff coming for Dion, Sean, Logan and um, it's a shame they weren't here now because we would have put them into the video but we don't want to make this video too long. I want to show you guys the vast majority of the stuff that we've got for Christmas. Yeah. Um, so they will also be getting clothes as well guys, they also get new pyjamas as well, they get that on Christmas Eve, so make sure you're subscribed to stay tuned and watch our daily vlogs guys, where you will see us on Christmas morning, you will see us on Christmas Eve and everything that we get up yeah. to on Christmas and Eve. we may be going somewhere on Christmas Day, we may be going somewhere on Christmas Eve, we may be going somewhere on Boxing Day, one of those days we may be going somewhere, but you have to wait and find out guys. So the next person that we bought for is Logan. Logan is six and he at the moment loves Legos guys. He's found a new interest in Legos. He has, yeah. Um, and they get quite annoying when they don't tidy them up and the Lego gets left on the carpet. And who has ever done this when you're walking along on the carpet and you stand on a piece of Lego? It's one of the most painfulest things in the world. It certainly well is guys. So we have bought him some bits and bobs of Lego. We have bought him this set which is the Lego 60164. So this was £20? Yeah, I think it was £20, but just to give you guys a bit of a close up, that is what it looks like there, guys. So it's, Le it's Lego City, isn't it? That's, that's what he's into. And then the second piece of Lego that we bought is like this jungle set. You get some people in there, you get a boat in there. So. And that was £10, £10 or £15, guys. So as you can see, guys, there's a few little things there as well. Just mixing it up. Then and he also asked for this. Now this is quite expensive. This was a Kinex uh, set. Now this has recently just came out. He's seen this on YouTube. He was like, Mom, can we get this for Christmas? So what you get is you get, you build this ride. It's like a roller coaster ride. Sure you guys, You have to build it. So that is the ride that you're building there, as Stephanie was just saying. And then, what is the twist? The cool thing about this though, guys, is that you actually get a virtual reality um, set, set. And then you put like a smartphone in, and he gets to ride the roller coaster himself. So it's like he's actually riding that roller coaster that he built. So after all that hard work, I think that's really good that you get to go on the ride yourself. And I think that'd be so much fun. It's like actually being on a roller coaster, that's, that's absolutely crazy. But yeah. amazing at the same time. And this builds to 2.9 feet, guys. So it's going to build pretty high. Pretty high, yeah. So it's like, I'd probably say about, I was going to, I don't think that'd be a feet in the frame. <laughs> I don't know. You get to get the idea, so make sure you come back for Christmas Day. And this was £50, guys. Yeah. 50 That's not too bad. Considering what you've just explained, what you get. Also got for Logan this Hot Wheels. You guys see? It's an AI intelligent race system now basically guys i used to love hot wheels racing systems when i was a kid and these go pretty fast you guys will get to see how fast they go on christmas day when you guys come back to see that video but it 
it basically it's going to be pretty cool because I like this sort of stuff so I'll be playing with Logan on this. That's why I really bought it to be honest with you guys. It wasn't for Logan, it was for me. <laughs> but Logan loves this sort of stuff and he loves getting down with his dad and Caleb on the floor and Sean and just the four boys, us just, just hanging out building things and yeah, playing with the cars I do and think stuff. That Look, um, I don't think that Caleb would like this as well. Yeah. Um, and Logan does like Hot Wheels as well. And that guys. was £60, guys. So that is like the boys' main presents. There is like little bits coming as well in the post, like we yeah. already said. But now for the older children, Sean, our son, who is a Fortnite addict. Who, which child out there is not addicted to Fortnite? I'm addicted to Fortnite. I'm an adult, but um, Sean's addicted to Fortnite and he absolutely loves it, like 100% loves it. Yeah. And um, we decided, right, this was the thing. Sean asked us, he says, can we have another Xbox? And he Steph wanted one for his room, didn't he? Yeah, and Stephanie was like, why do we need another Xbox if we've already gotten one? Yeah. But with the game Fortnite, it's only a one player, but if you've got another device, another Xbox, you can join. So that's the only way it can become two player. You can't just add a controller, you've got to add another Xbox. So they, I, we, we love playing on Fortnite as a family, but unfortunately we've only got the one Xbox, so we all take turns. Um, but Sean, he wants to join. He just joined with his Nintendo 64, 64? Switch. Nintendo Switch, yeah. <laughs> he does join with his Nintendo Switch, but he likes to play on the Xbox better. It's much more easier to play on the Xbox, which it is on the Switch, which I can verify that it is. So we had a discussion with him, which says, okay, well, we'll think about it, but we decided to go out and get him one anyway. That was the only thing that he wanted as well. The only thing that he wanted. But a year or two ago, we got him this to share in the Christmas got, uh, box, but Sean has his actual own one. So he's gonna have this in his room. So he also wanted, This guys? Yeah, he also wanted this deep freeze skin. Yeah, deep freeze skin. Um and it'll also get a thousand V bucks with it as well. So that was twenty five pounds. How much was the Xbox? The Xbox was oh, two hundred and fifty at the most. Fifty or something, yeah. Two thirty, two fifty eight. And you guys are playing on um Fortnite now, uh, young boys if you are watching, you guys will know that the whole map's nearly being transformed into a Christmas theme. Apparently I think it's all going to be snow throughout the whole entire of Christmas, but who knows, wait and find out. And <coughs> we also bought him two sets of these tops, which is... It's a llama. Yeah. And they were two for £20 in game. You get the blue, you guys have to wait and see what it looks like on Christmas Day, and you get the black. You can get the white as well, but I think he likes blue and black, so we decided to get them then. Next, our daughter, who is 12, She's, nearly a teenager, guys. As you guys have heard from Dion, she wants to do her own vlogging channel. She wants to do her own little channel, which is going to be good. I think it's going to give us some independence, a little bit of responsibility um, to take on the editing and things like that. It'll be good for her to connect with other people on the internet and to find friends and things like that. And I think you know, when your children get to a certain age, they just want to grow up, don't they? And you've just got to support that. and. Help them in any which way you can and with yeah. Dion she wants to start her own vlogging channel so we went out and bought her yes wait for it the full vlogging kit no not just yet <laughs> we went and bought her a laptop guys it is um, a HP laptop and we got that on the Black Friday sales that was 550 pounds I think and um, but that's the kind of budget you're looking into buying if you're looking to edit on a laptop for your um, for your vlogging channel looking at a minimum of at least £550. You might get away with something smaller, but the upload speed will be much smaller as well. So in order, in order to get her video up on every single day, if that's what she wants to do, we've bought now a really good, decent laptop. And um, it's it's pretty good. You guys get to see that on Christmas Day and the setup and everything. So, yeah. Yeah, and Dion's also asked for things like makeup and clothes um, and money. In the UK, we have a thing called Boxing Day. And it's basically a lot of the shops go into like sales yeah. on those days, so the children want a bit of cash to go spending after Christmas. So we've cut back on some presents for that, and we're going to give them some cash and a Christmas card each. Because they love shopping, don't they? They love shopping. As you guys know, with Dion, you've seen some of her videos where she takes you guys shopping. I think Sean and Dion want to go and do a few more of those video guys with you. 
but everybody does Christmas differently and some people just you know always get the kids the latest and stuff like that and that's what you guys do that's down to you guys um, and each to their own we're not judging anybody but that's how we do Christmas yeah but leave a comment down below guys let us know how you celebrate Christmas do you spoil your kids and just buy them everything um and don't buy them throughout the year and then just buy on Christmas. Yeah, because some people do that, don't they? Do you celebrate Christmas or don't you celebrate Christmas? Leave your comments down below, guys. Let us know because we love interacting with you all. Um, and with that being said, guys, make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss our Christmas Eve and our Christmas Day uh, videos. And for everybody else who's watched, the BFAM guys, thank you for watching. We do appreciate you guys. And we'll see you guys in the next vlog of Miss video, which will be tomorrow. Um, and if not guys and nobody wants to subscribe just hit the like button we appreciate that it means a lot so we'll see you guys in the next video that being said good night